my spidey senses tingle. There is definitely a traitor among us in the witchcraft community and indigenous community. Yes, this video is about Skywaterstone and ASM. The amount of damage dealt in both communities, indigenous, reconnecting, indigenous, native TikTok, Santa Muerte devotee TikTok, witchcraft TikTok, infernal TikTok, is actually disgusting. There are so many people who are affected by ASM. And here's why. I'll weaponize the fuck out of my white privilege. She absolutely said that herself. Now, one of the questions I have to ask is why does Sky Waterstone feel that she can mentor? I wonder what qualifications she has to teach shamanism. Not only does she herself get confused on what shamanism is, but she changes up what she's able to do. One day she's a psychic, another she's a medium. Sometimes she does tarot, sometimes she doesn't. This is what a shaman is supposed to do. If they're more primarily focused on healing. The other two are not primarily focused on healing. Mediumship uses seances and Ouija boards. And being a psychic is like an ability to retrieve hidden information. Not a shaman. So it seems like you yourself, Sky Waterstone, have no idea what you actually do and change it when it benefits you. Here's the annual salary of a shaman, by the way. Oh, that's very profitable, isn't it? Hmm. Multiple Native women have called you out and told you selling Native American practices online is unacceptable, such as indigenous lashes. I don't know if our voices really matter because you profitize off of this particular tribe, Puyallup. And we have the email to prove it. They have no idea who you are, Miss Sky Waterstone, or who ASM is. And you may be asking, who is Connie McLeod? Well, she is an actual elder of this tribe. With all of these things lined up, it doesn't really scream to me that you are a mentor or that you should be leading or teaching. I have absolutely no idea why you have backed ASM knowing she has done atrocious things, especially since Native women have called her out for calling their own tribal offices asking for information because she feels she deserves to be here. This is a white woman desperately trying to get cool points and cosplay as one of us. The madness has to stop so that we can heal in our communities.